This video is about updating the Warble firmware. I'll be illustrating how to do it on Windows. Uh, if you have a Mac, the process is very similar, and if you look in the user manual, you'll find explicit instructions for how to do it on a Mac as well. First, I'm going to go to the Warble website and go to the documentation page. And then we'll start by downloading the newest version of the firmware. So you can click Latest Warble Firmware. And then when it downloads it, you can open the folder where it downloaded it. And it'll be a zip file, so you'll double click on that and then drag the contents to a new location which will unzip it in that location. I'm just going to save the firmware on my desktop for now. And then we can go back to the documentation page on the Warble website and we'll click the link for downloading QMK Toolbox, which is the software for updating the firmware. We'll run that download, which will start the installer. Now, Windows uh, might not detect this as a safe app, but it's okay to click More Info and then Run Anyway, which will allow Windows to run the installer and install the app. At this point, I'm also going to plug Warble in so it's ready for installing the firmware. Once the installer opens, you can just click through the installation process. and we're going to tell it to launch Kume Toolbox after it's installed. Now, at some point during this process, it may ask you if you want to install drivers. You can click no because Warble doesn't need a driver except on Windows 7, and in the user manual, um, there's extractions specifically for Windows 7. When QMK Toolbox opens, first we're going to click Open and then navigate to where we saved the firmware, which in my case was on the desktop. I'm going to click that click open and now I'm going to select auto flash and then we can just double click the reset button on Warble and because I've selected auto flash it should upload the firmware as soon as we've double clicked the reset button you'll see the yellow text saying that a Katarina device was connected that's Warble and you'll see more text as it goes through the installation process. And then it'll say Katarina device disconnected, which means the firmware has been installed successfully. Next time we connect to the configuration tool, you should see the new Warble firmware version in the upper right corner. It will say your firm firmware is up to date.